Welcome everyone. In this video lecture, we will solve a problem based on diode and it is from the microelectronic circuit source. So the question is, a diode for which the forward voltage drop is 0.7 volt at 1 milliampere current. So here the thing is that the current is given ID1 is 1 milliampere. I am writing ID1 for a voltage drop, forward voltage drop will be 0 0.7 volt okay with an ideality factor one is operated okay at 0 0.5 volt okay and the another voltage is given vd2 we can say the vd2 is 0 0.5 volt okay what is the value of the current so what is the value of the current for this Okay, very simple. A diode for which the forward voltage drop is 0 0.7 volt. Okay, at 1 milliampere, and for which eta equals to 1, identity factor 1, operated at 0.5 volt. Okay, so when the voltage is VD2 is this, this one 0 0.5, what should be the current? Okay, so this question will be solved by using the diode uh, equation. Okay, diode equation that is our ID equals to. Is exp exponential vd by eta vt. Okay, our this one is id is nearly is minus one. We are not taking. Okay, so this can be simply written as is exp eta value is one. So we can say vd by vt. Okay, because this eta is one. Okay, we are taking this formula. We are not taking this id equals to general formula is this one exp vd by eta vt minus one whole okay so the id is much much greater than is so generally we are writing id is same as the is exp vd by eta vt okay so this one is the formula okay so the two things are given so ID1, VD1, but IS is not given, and so ID2 we have to find when VD2 is given. Okay, so one can easily write the ID1 expression. The ID1 expression, ID1 can be we are saying the situation can as it is. Okay, EXP, VD is VD1. Okay, okay, VD1 by VT, or we can write it IS. Is exp vd is known to us vd1 that is our 0 0.7 by vt we can write okay say so i am saying this one is the equation number one similarly one can write id2 is exp okay reverse situation can we are saying it is same in both the for that particular diode and it should be is exp it is very simple one 0 0.55 vt by 2 so now is is not known to us but id1 id2 is known to us where id2 is here id1 sorry 1 milliampere okay so 1 milli and this id2 is not not known to us id2 okay so what we can do if we divide one equation one by two okay so one can write id1 by id2 is simply this is by is exp 0.7 by vt by is exp 0.5 by vt so this is is will be cancelled out and id1 is known to us okay id1 or here i am writing id1 is 1 milliampere so make it 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 id2 is not not known to us which is we have to find id2 so we can write like this then exp okay now what we can write 0 0.7 by vt minus 0 0.5 by vt okay because e to the power a by e to the power b we can write as e to the power a minus b the same thing we are Going here, 
okay means id 1 by id 2 equals to this okay so if we solve this one one can write 10 to the minus 3 by id 2 and it should be 0 0.2 by vt simple calculation is there okay now 0 0.2 by vt so again what we can write and for here the thermal voltage i am just taking 0 0.025 that is our vt 25 millivolt or 0 0.025 volt okay so this exp and if you solve this one it will come exponential 8 okay if you remove this one means 30 will come here okay then 8 very simple exp 8 okay now after that we have to find id2 so id2 can be written as 10 to the power minus 3 divided by exp 8 okay so if we solve it properly it will come 3.35 into 10 to the power minus 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 so it should be 3.34 35 into 10 to the power minus 7 okay okay then if you want to write in micro then we can write it 335 into 10 to the power minus 6 that is about 0 0.335 micro ampere so id2 will be 335 micro ampere so this is all about this simple question so first we have to careful about the question means 0 0.7 volt is given 1 milliampere so i just write written like this id1 for identity vector 1 vd2 0 0.5 so we have to find id2 so is is not known to us and we are using this formula simplified one okay because the this id value the diode current will be much greater than the equation is so after writing the equation two equation we are just dividing okay after dividing and after simplification step by step what we observe that the id value will be 0 0.335 micro ampere so the answer for this question will be id2 will be 0 0.335 micro ampere okay so this is all about this id2 okay so this is all about this simple question and it's from micro chemistry so the thing is that we have to careful about the calculation and we have to very careful about the question also so thank you for watching this video